I'm making breakfast and it smells really good. I hope that it tastes uh just as good. Or at least edible. Yeah. Do 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 I'm humming a song. I laid my tired eyes on the sizzling bacon. It's coming to life. Even though the pig is very, very much dead. God bless those creatures made out of ham. But not the Islamic god, the other one. But aren't they the same one? Yeah, I know, it's confusing too. Back on track. Seems like everything is really going right in the world. I'm making a good breakfast. Monica texted me that it'll be fine if Sire and I didn't show up at the festival. All is well. I feel a shiver, shiver crawling down my spine. <laughs> Bro, this is going to take you hours. I know it's going to take me hours. I have, what, 11 of them on here. As I said earlier, I can't play me and you. Already, although I already uploaded that one on the channel. You can go check that out. I also left the uh, uncensored version of that video in the link in the description of that. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, or Happy 500 subs, whatever. Not everything is well. Sarah is alive, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that she's still struggling. I should be thankful that when I opened that door, she was still, still, I swallow. <laughs> I crank down the heater on the bacon and the sizzle dies down. Closing my eyes, I focus on the sound emitted by the surroundings. Nothing. Not a single priddle or prattle. I can't even hear a breath. She couldn't have. No, no, there's no way. I shake my head and chuckle to myself. Don't be paranoid, Stalin. Don't baby her. Be there for her. That's all that matters. Bruh! Bro, the Sayori jump scare is real. I fall down, my breath erratic. I... I have to check! I run up the stairs, my mind rushing with every possibility. Please, God, don't let this happen again! Please! <laughs> She's styling such a hero complex. Yeah! Hey, bro, I can't help it. I just... I, all I wanted to do was save Russia... And then I killed 20 million people. It, it happens. It happens, alright? It's my hero complex. I reach the door and lean in, my ear flat against the wooden surface. I can't hear a thing. One more time. One more time for old time's sake. I gently open the door. She's still here. Thank God. Hey, Stalin. Yeah, Sayori? Where's my breakfast? Huh? My breakfast, Stalin. Oh, no. Where is it? Well, well I'm fucking dead. I'm working- WHERE IS IT?! I WANT MY BREAKFAST! YOU PROMISED ME BREAKFAST! Don't worry, Sayori. I'll get on it. Just one... I TRUSTED YOU, STALIN! I TRUSTED YOU! I TRUSTED BREAKFAST! What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. She was okay just seconds ago. Why is she crying about breakfast? Unless... Sayori stands up, her tears dried up, and looks me dead in the eye. Sayori, I know the voices are telling you to do it, but don't. <laughs> Stalin took away our food. <laughs> That's what the Ukrainians be saying. You are not just a puppet dancing to their whims. But, Stalin, 
You didn't get me breakfast. I wanted my breakfast, and you didn't get it. No. Don't do it! Sorry, I swear to fuck. <laughs> well, shit. Well! <laughs> now with even more door! I gently open the door. Step right up, step right up, and take a hit of our newest, most popular attraction! The Hanging Girl! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come here and take a free shot at the candy dispenser and oddly satisfying Hanging Girl! I step up to the pinata and Asuki hands me a bat that's covered in barbed wire. <laughs> Alright, time to put on the blindfold on ya! She wraps a blindfold on top of my eyes. I start swinging my bat mindlessly, trying to get a hit on the piñata. Hey, I got it! Keep going, sir! I keep beating on the piñata, trying to get it to dispense as much candy as possible. Ooh, that sounded good! <laughs> that sounded real good! I wonder what type of candy's in that. YouTube, please don't take this down, please. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like candy at all. Natsuki, I just finished preparing the piñata and... <laughs> I gently open the door. What's up, can a low come in your crib? Man, fuck you. I see you at school. Hey, noose bitch, don't hate on me because I'm beautiful noose bitch. <laughs> if you got rid of that yes haircut you got, you get some bitches, <laughs> you get some dicks in your snatch. <laughs> oh, better yet, maybe I'll actually love your dog ass if I ever stop fucking with that soon there yonder I'm fucking with. I lean in and go for the knockout punch. Noose bitch. I flip her the bird. What? <laughs> Visit a barber for a new haircut. <laughs> I gently open the door. Hey, Pog? Hey, Sayori. Hey. I think I left my pen in here. Ah, okay. I think it's by my desk. Let me get it. Yeah, you go, you go get it. Sorry, Ben's down to get the pen and hands it to me. Epic. Thanks. Anytime. I gently open the door. Sorry, why'd you call me here? Stalin, we need to talk. What is it? Ooh. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, I'm out of here. But how? Remember when we went out to the park a couple days ago? Yeah. We're getting warm and fuzzy. Yeah. And then we hit in the bushes and you, uh... Sayori swallows nervously. And you held my hand. Oh no. I guess we held hands a bit too hard. Damn it! My mom always said I should use protection. Should've wore gloves. I should have worn my gloves, exactly! It's not your fault. I want to feel your hands too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Your hands did feel really good. So, abortion or... Nah, I got it covered. Two for one. <laughs> Phew. That was close! Almost had to worry about child support there. I gently opened the door. Stalin, you're finally here! Come, we're gonna play some truth or dare. Sayori, we talked about this. You have to take your meds. Yeah, you schizo bitch. B but I don't wanna. It always makes me feel so funky. It's for your own good. I go over to her dresser and grab her pill bottle, unscrewing it and handing her two pills. 
Do I have to? Yes, Sayori, you have to. She takes the pills and with one gulp, swallows them both down. Oh, no! Not you two! It was all a dream. Hey, Sayori, do you want to play some truth or... Of course you're the only one who's real! Just my luck. I'll go. Please. I gently open the door. Ah, oh, well, she's dead already. Don't, have, don't even have to build up to it. I didn't know how long I spent in her room. Yeah, it do be like that sometimes when you just take your schizo meds and all your friends disappear. Yeah. It's tough. I felt numb for what seems to be eternity. I just saw Sayuri hang there for... God, I don't know how long. Eventually, I began to feel something. I looked down at Sayuri's pajamas. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Her shirt was slightly unbuttoned at the top. I remembered how I had to bun her top. Her cute little giggles as I struggled with her top, my fingers pretty much tickling her shirt. Then there was her smile as I adjusted her buttons. I felt a slight throb in my groin. Was I... Was I getting hard? Looked down and noticed my pingus begin to rise. <laughs> I looked back to Sayori. And... <laughs> she's looking at me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Sayori? You're alive! It's a miracle! You sound disappointed. I... No! Stalin, were you going to rape my corpse? No. Why do you have a boner? The wind. Honesty is the key to a healthy relationship, Stalin. I sigh. <sighs> I may have tried to rape your corpse. It's okay, Stalin. Just next time. I want to be alive when we have sex, okay? What? I want to be alive when we have sex? Boner gone. <laughs> Fucking disappointment. <laughs> I gently open the door as I feel my sins crawl on my back. Hmm. Ah! My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I gently open the door. Hey kids! And since when do we go back to the 1970s? Hiya, Sayori! Look, there's nothing cooler than talking and being with someone you like. But when someone older than you tries to talk to you or touch you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable... That's no good. If you're ever in that situation, first, you gotta say no. Then, you gotta get out of there and talk and stop talking to that person. Most importantly, you have to tell a person you trust. Like your parents and a trusted adult. What if that trusted adult is the one doing it? Or your parents is the one doing it? Oh, damn. Thanks, Sayori. And remember, adults. If you ever think about a child in a sexual context, don't! <laughs> Wish I knew this before I met my uncle. Ah, uh, they really do be like that. Uh, I think EDP should have been given that advice. I'm, I'm just saying, maybe he would have still had a YouTube career. 
It's like, man, I could have made a rise and fall of EDP video, but it's too bad Internet at J beat me to it. Fuck. I gently open the door. It's a baguette! Holy shit! Baguette! 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 Oh hey, a baguette! 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 God, fuck off, Monica! No one asks, jeez! Yeah, fuck off, Monica. No one likes you. Baguette. <laughs> I gently open the door. Stalin, I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm Stalin! Please help me. I would, but I don't see me anywhere around here. I hate you. It's like, bro, who even likes Monica? No one likes Monica. Let's be real here. No one. No one likes Monica, and if you do, well, there's something wrong with you. You're at least somewhat a Nazi. Let's be real. I'll pass the message on to you when I see him. <laughs> I gently open the door. It's dark and cold. I can't make out a single shape or figure. I'm lost in a silent, empty, yet vast void. Where am I? Wait. Did I forget to turn the lights on? Phew, that's better. <laughs> nah, don't, don't even, just ignore it. You're gone. I gently open the door. Why do you have a gun in your hand? Oh, it's a Chekhov's gun. I feel like someone else would appreciate that more than I would. Hey! It's like guns can be cool. Especially when they're used to blast holes through intruders. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. Specifically a Remington. Like the one in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That one that that was a great shotgun to use. I gently open the door. Hey Stalin, mind helping me down? Oh, you're still up there? So, um, how are you alive? Well, I tried to kill myself. But I guess I'm immortal. Huh. Neat. So, will you help me get down? I don't know. I kind of have some eggs to attend to. I'll go check up on that and I'll come back. I'm literally suffocating. You'll live. I... Yeah, you'll be fine. I gently open the door. Hey, Sayori. Asuki made cupcakes. You want some? Stalin, I have diabetes. I'll take that as a yes. I'll leave the three trays of cupcakes and leave. Based. Based. I gently open the door. Hello, and welcome to the first meeting of the Dead Girl Society! Wait, what? I don't think Natsuki even died. Wait, what did I say? Everybody introduce yourself! Uh, what's going on? Oh, hey Stalin! This is the first meeting of the DGS! You're welcome to watch! Um, actually, I have a question. What do you guys actually do here? We talk about the trauma of dying. But mostly we just chill out and hang. Pun entirely intended. Thanks, Nat. I shake my head at the shenanigans. Ah, girls. Never change. Wait, is that? <gasps> oh my gosh! It's Rope Coon! You're alive! Oh, I've missed you so much! I thought I lost you! <laughs> I grab Rob Coon and, and hug him tight. 
I won't let you go this time, I swear! Sayori, what's it, what is going on? If I knew, I'd tell you. Oh my god! We have to make up for so much lost time! Let me take you out to dinner. How's that sound? I'll take that as a yes. I am beyond confused. Isn't that a rope where you glued a set of comedic eyes to so that you could cope with your trauma better? I think. Girls, I can't tell how the rope is moving up and down. Girls, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you bringing it back to me. I'm excited to show my appreciation. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, Rope Coon, there's a stake with your name on it. Let's go! And bro, that was the most heartfelt and emotional moment in DDLC history. I gently opened the door. Bruh! Twice! You got me twice! Unbelievable. I gently open the door. Hey Sayori, did you eat the cupcakes? I look at the ground and see three empty trays and crumbs all over the place. Sayori seems so sluggish. Are you okay, Sayori? Solid. The it in. Do you need more cupcakes? Sayori's on the ground, spazzing out. <laughs> White foam is being produced from her mouth. She must be really excited for more cupcakes. I pat her head and as the foam starts leaking out of her mouth. Sorry, don't be so dramatic. I'll go get you more cupcakes. Based MC, bro. Based MC. I gently open the door. Hey, yo! What the fuck? Wow, Sayori. You look different. Did you get a haircut? Bro, really? <laughs> Kind of sus, not gonna lie. <laughs> Relatable. I gently open the door. On second thought, I'd rather not. I gently close the door. I gently open the door. Look, Stalin, I'm flying! You're hanging. I'm flying! You're going to die. We all die eventually. You're just jealous that I'm gonna die flying! <laughs> yeah, I am pretty jealous of that. I gently open the... Gently open the... The... Uh... What was I doing? Huh. Hey, wow. This wall is really bumpy. Surrey has really bumpy walls outside her room. How funky. There's like... One bump. Two bumps. Three bumps. Four bumps. Five bumps. Six bumps. Sixty-four thousand three hundred and sixty-five bumps. 64,366 bumps. Oh, now I remember what I was supposed to do a month ago. I need to go and check up on Sayori. Silly Stalin, always so forgetful. I gently opened the door. Well, okay then. Actually, you know what? Good. Good, Sayori. I gently closed the door. I gently open the door. I'm depressed. I don't know how to feel. The burn of someone's feelings is so great. Lamau, okay. 
You're me. Okay, Lamau. Oh my god, what's happening? Did I forget? Stop saying Lamau out loud. It's really weird and stupid. Lamau, it's a condition. Why are you crying? My feet become weak as I fall to my knees. My medicine, Lamau. I lost my medicine, Lamau. Lamau is invading my thoughts. I can't stop. Lamau, Lamau. Help, help. Lamau, Lamau, Lamau. Lamau, 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 Lamau. Stalin. Lamau, 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 Lamau. And that's the end of Savage Central. I gently open the door. Sayori! No. I push the hanging body of my best friend. I should have seen this coming. I look up and see Sayori's lifeless face. Oh, Sayori. Wait, what did, I, what did I say? Oh, Sayori. What did you do? Wait a minute. I look further up, only to be met with an endless void. Where the hell? Where the hell is this rope attached to? I move up to the. I move up the chair that's been thrown carelessly onto the ground and jump on. Okay, so I need to climb that rope. I jump on the chair and use Sayori's limp head for another boost. That jump should do it. And catch. Gripping on. I'm gripping the rope. Now it's time to climb. Let's see where this void takes us. Using all my upper body strength, I begin to climb the endless rope. At first, the void is a simple blackness. While terrifying, it is at the very least comprehensible. So I climb. I climb. I climb. And I climb. My arms shake. My face melts. I feel like I'm losing myself. The void gets even darker. Even deeper. All the light touches is a rope. A singular rope. And so I climb. Every ounce of my strength is attributed to pulling myself up. At first, I'm going at a decent pace. But eventually, I slow to a crawl. My body can't take it. But I must. I must push on. I climb and I climb. The never-ending struggle. My entire body is just a puddle of implications and suggestions. Am I here? Is here even real? Am I real? My surroundings warp around. Shades of color so extravagant that we have no words for it. It's like I can see a whole new spectrum of light. The colors. My retinas bleed in. My eye sockets bulge out. I can't feel my body. I can't see the rope. The weight of the entire world is on me. This is what happens when you enter England. It's like, is England even real? Let's be real. I, England is a made up place. Secretly in a different dimension, this is just how you enter it. The pain. The suffering. Ah! What? Where am I? Hello, child. Who are you? Oh, oh, could it, can it be? I am the master of football strategy. Arbiter of all things pigskin, it's John Madden! Ah! Oh dear great one! John Madden! I see you have found my realm. Are you... Are you God? <laughs> so child, in the name of the Hall of Fame, would you like to join me in my never-ending battle for all things football? Yes. Take me with you, John! I'm going to heaven! Follow my teachings and you shall become a football man. 
I'm honestly more of a soccer guy. Fuck you, MC. Nah. Nah, I'm a football guy. I got my Dallas Cowboys merch right here. I'm touching it. Oh no. Oh no! What's going on? What? Huh? What just... Ugh. Must have been a dream. For some reason, I want to play some Madden 08! Yeah! Vince Young is calling to me! It's like, bro, Vince Young hasn't been relevant since, like, 2009. Anyway. It's like, dude, Vince Young only had, like, one good season, and that was it. The Chad football was the version of American... F the fuck off! Bro, the Chad American football versus the version of football. That's how it is! American football is 10,000 times cooler because of all the major fucking head injuries. I want to see someone get decapitated on the field! I want to see Rob Gronkowski spike Stewie Griffin like a football! I gently open the door. No, it's too low. Oh, no, it's too low. We need to go higher. I gently leave the house. No, higher. Sayori, stop. Higher. Sayori, Jesus, fuck. I want to go higher, various artists. <sighs> I gently go to the moon. Please don't say higher. Higher! Fuck. I gently open the door. There's another door. Huh? I gently open the door again. And another door! Okay. I gently open the door once more. More doors? How many doors are there? I gently open the door another time. Phew. A hallway. It's dark, but that should be okay. I walk forward into the dark abyss. Okay, and there should be another door. Ah! I open the door, not very gently this time. Oh my god! It's another door. Fuck this! I tried to kick the door down. Ah, fuck! I break my leg. Ouchie, that hurting my stumpy wumpy. I crawl to the doorknob and open it. Oh my gosh, it's Rope Coon. What the? You know what you must do. Yes. I crawl up to the noose, barely standing on my two feet. Looking through it, I see my future reflected within the noose. I know what I must do. I take the noose and stare at it longingly. I'm sorry, Rope Coon. I get it closer to my head. Clearing my throat, time to make my move. I make out with the noose. Yes! I gently... I gently open the door. I... I open gently the door. Door gently the open eye. I break a door into new terrace. Stalin? Kmohri? <laughs> She opens the gently door. I did it. Knitov. Are you okay? I nod my head. Do all you not me to kill myself? Kill myself? How can that as a say? Huh? I break around it onto a terrace. 
Man, I had a stroke reading that, man. I gently opened the door. Hi! Hey, ya. Yeah. I can't think of anything funny to say. Yeah, me neither. Being funny is hard. I can agree, yeah, being funny is hard. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah! That should be funny! Eh, it was funnier the first time around. I gently opened the door. Unsurprisingly, Sayori is hanging. Oh, it's you two! Hey, it's the Dokies in black. Sop! Nothing much, just watch my friend hang, I guess. Wow, I'm very desensitized to what was once a life-changing event. So, what brings you here? We're here to revert this world to its original state. Oh, cool. Very cool. I'll take your word for it. Now, Stalin, all we need for you is to stare at that. Hey, you're right, you have the pen, right? Yes, one moment, please. She reaches down her pants. Hmm. Sorry, the pin is lodged very deep. Oh, no. Ah, Yuri, this wasn't part of the plan. S Sorry. I close my eyes, no longer want to bask in the sight. It's just that every break between scenes made me feel a little understimulated. They really toned down the sex jokes this time around. Well, hurry up! We have to make him forget everything he saw here for the world to turn back to normal. No, don't worry. I'm already burning every memory I can. Great! In that case, just keep your eyes closed for about two minutes, then we should have everything back to normal. Is this seriously about the last two minutes? Okay, good. I can just click. That should be about two minutes, yeah? I open my eyes. What was I doing? Right. Eggs and bacon. Sari was having an off day, so I decided to make her breakfast. The sun is starting to set. By now, the festival is probably long over. Maybe I could get the club members to come over here if Sayori is interested. But more importantly, I have to deliver Sayori her breakfast, hopefully without her killing me this time. Turning off the stove, I shovel the mostly black eggs and room temperature bacon off to their respective pans and onto the, a plate, which I haul upstairs. I gently open the door. My breakfast! Took you long enough. I make you breakfast and this is the repayment I get? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Stalin. Now hand it over. I hand over the plate. She shovels a mouthful of food into her mouth. It's delicious. It was shit, wasn't it? Yeah. But I still like it. Because you're stupid? Because you made it for me. I giggle. <laughs> Thanks, Sayori. So, next time will you make me dinner? There won't be a next time. <laughs> I mean, I was going... I was going to say that uh, this is how this was going to end, but... I didn't remember this actually ending this way. Okay. Ah, finally. Peace. A mod by the various artists, and we have like 10 more to play after this. Great. Nothing like the Vine Boom sound effect. No need for music and the credits. Just boom. Thanks for playing. I'm glad to have played. I'm still alive, you dingus. Damn it. Eat a bag of dicks. Bro, that's what Antonio Brown be saying. Alright, that was the end of the main uh, game. But there were there is extras. And I feel like hopping into those. Yeah.
deleted skits. Say, so how many are there? There are eight. So there ain't that many. You can get through these pretty quickly. These are the ones that didn't make the cut. I gently opened the door. Sayori? What's going on? Hello, hello, Sayori from News Corp, where we'll never leave you hanging. Can you please hold? Hello, hello, Sayori from News Corp, but we'll never ever leave you hanging. Can you hold, please? Seriously, Sayori, what is going- Hello, hello, Sayori from News Corp, or we'll never ever leave you hanging. Can you please hold? Oh my god. Sayori! I grab her by the shoulders and pull her to me. Oh, oh yeah, that was you. Well, oh, in the credits, so. Oh, oh fucking flash you. I was like, oh yeah. I didn't, even, I didn't realize that until you just commented that. Well, it was a, it was great to play your mod. I really enjoyed it. But we're gonna finish playing the extras, and we're gonna play some more of these after. Hello, hello, for Sire from News Corp. We'll never ever leave you hanging. Can you please hold? Sayori, it's me. Oh, hi, me. What is going on? Remember the ad we remember the ad we recorded for self defense news. The one that we did at the beginning of the last volume of I gently opened the door, which the audience should definitely play before this one, which I did, and I did call that number. And well, I did not get my self defense news. That was false advertising. I'm going to be suing the various artists. Expect a court summons in the mail. Yeah, that's the one. I want my news. Anyway, a lot of people want self-defense nooses now. It's like the new hot thing. Especially with single Japanese salary men. It's even trending number one on Chirpy. That's pretty cool. Apparently, people are so in love with it that depression rates have nosedived. Bruh, bruh self-defense nooses bring depression rates down to zero. It's confirmed, bruh. It's like, this is, the, this is the solution to all your problems. Although suicide rates have skyrocketed. Eh, well, you know, eh, you take some wins and you take some L's, you know. Higher suicide rates, lower depression. You know, it all evens out. Haven't figured out why just yet. I wonder why. Huh. What's the link there? And now there's so much demand that I just can't keep up. Have you thought about expanding? They're not giving me enough time to expand. I have to answer all these calls. Well, um... I'm always willing to help. Really? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stalin. Um... Welcome to News Corp, I guess. We'll probably have to get some paperwork sorted out for employment, but yeah. Time to get to work, then. Yes, sir. So he goes to answer one of the many ringing phones. All right, then. I walk up to the ringing phone and pick it up. Hello, hello, Stalin from News Corp, but we're, um... Never ever leave you hanging. Number two. I gently open the door. Um, hello? Stalin, is that you? Garoppolo- Garoppolo's delivery. Here's your package. I hand the cardboard box over to the salmon-haired girl. Oh, finally! This better have all the rope stuff I wanted. The tracking said it was stuck in Guam for a week. How does that even happen? And where is Guam anyways? Yeah, Guam's a made-up place. Is it like an underwater city or something? You could say that. Side space dimensional city, actually. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh. Shocked by the cry, the airhead drops the package to the ground. I didn't order a crying rope! Well, whoops, I gotta go! Have a good day, bye! Wait, come back here! I gently opened the door. 
Hey, Stalin, I need your opinion on something. What's up? Which way of committing suicide is better? She holds up three pictures of different suicide methods. One showing a woman shooting herself, another showing a woman taking a toaster into a bathtub, and another of a woman hanging herself. Hmm. Come on. Alright, fine. I'll have to go with the classic hanging yourself. My choice. Okay, I'm gonna go now. See ya, Sayori. See ya. I gently open the door. I see a Garoppolo package in the middle of the room. I can't say that right. Sayori is cowering in fear, poking at it, poking it with a stick. Uh, Sayori, why are you poking a cardboard box with a stick? It's crying, Stalin! The box is crying! It's crying! Uh-huh. I don't hear any. Shocked, I cowered behind Sayori. Why is the box crying? I don't know! Did you order it? No, some guy just gave it to me. That don't look like you, actually. Did you open it? N no. Then go open it! You do it! No, you! Just do a Stalin or I'm killing myself! Oh, wow. So killing yourself is so worthless now that you're using it as an ultimatum on in an unrelated situation. Sayori, tired of my whining, pushes me towards the crying box. I gulp and proceed to slowly tear it open. Leaning in, I take a glimpse of what's inside. Oh, oh my gosh, what's it gonna be? Huh? So, what's inside? A baby. A what? A baby. There's a baby inside the package. Why is there a baby inside the package? It's your package. Why should? Why would I know? Did you order a baby in a package? No, Stalin, I did not order a baby in a package. Then why is there a baby inside this package? I don't know! Sayori sighs, obviously fed up with the situation. She leans in and looks in at the now calm baby. Hey, stop crying. Yeah, it... It did. Sayori's eyes dilate. Her hands shake and her lips are left ajar. She doesn't want to admit it, but it seems like Sayori has found love. Wow. Please don't have a maternal moment, Sayori. But it's so cute. Great, now it's crying. Thanks, Sayori. Do you think it did a poopy? It doesn't smell like it, so I would guess not. Hmm. Then why is it crying? Sorry, starts to gently shake the baby. Come on, little baby, why are you crying? Here, let me try. Ah! What the fuck is that? Sorry, hands me the crying abomination. I grab it from below its armpits. I look deep in its odd pink eyes. Yeah, those deep pink eyes. As I proceed to pull out a lead pipe that's conveniently in my left pocket. So, I start to violently shake the Eldritch being. Tell me your sacred child! Stop, Stalin, you're hurting the cute baby. Don't call me cute! Ah! Ah! Oh my god. I gently open the door. That was terrifying. Okay guys, welcome to the Friends Ranking Competition. Today on Friend Ranking, I'll be ranking my best friend ever friendies. The Literature Club. I lean over to Yuri Natsuki. So, you guys nervous? Dude, dude, I've been pampering her for an entire month trying to win this. Of course I'm nervous. I would like to think Sayori and I are very close. I'm her childhood friend, so I'm pretty sure I'll win. Okay, buddies, are you ready? Just tell us the rankings. 
Alright, alright. So, at third place we have... Ooh, he's a gonna be... Yuri! Oh. Expected, but still disappointing. Don't be sad, Yuri. Your big boobies always have a place in my heart. Hey, that's the one good thing about you, Yuri. I must agree. I appreciate the sentiment, Sayori. Now for second place. Are you ready to eat my dust, Stalin? I doubt she'll pick you before me. Mr. Cow! Mr. Cow! Mr. Cow is, is always with me. Plus, he also has big udders. Wouldn't that make him a she? Questions for later. Now for first place. This is gonna be me. Come on, Asuki, don't get your hopes up. I have a feeling, though. I'm surprised your dad didn't beat all of the feelings out of you. Low blow, Stalin. Like the ones your dad gave you? You son of a- That's a key! What? Haha, <laughs> eat my shorts, Stalin! I thought- Now see, he goes over and hugs Sayuri super tightly. I limp over. How could you do this to me? Huh? This is how rejection feels like. Stalin, are you sad? No. Yes. Yes, I'm very sad. We're childhood friends, Sayori. I thought I was your best buddy. Well, we're not buddies. We're not? No, because I... Oh, oh god, I don't like where this is going. Where what is going? Because I love you. I'm stunned. Sorry. Are you for real? She nods her head repeatedly. Wow. I... Well, sorry, I... Hey guys, I heard you're doing a friend ranking competition. Oh my god. Fuck off, Monica. Seriously, fucking bitch. Like, wow, I didn't invite you for a reason. You're not even my friend. I thought... Yeah, well, think outside! Dumb skank. <laughs> yeah, you tell us, Sayori. Number six. I gently open the door. Stalin, there's a monster in my closet! I look at Sayori in total disbelief. Aren't you a bit old for this, Sayori? I'm serious. It's in there and it's scary. Alright, fine. I walk up I walk up to the closet and roll my eyes. This is so silly. Uh, ah! Oh my god! I told you so. Lock and never open that closet ever again, Sayori. The world isn't ready for the monster within. <laughs> Think of all the damage it would cause, the people it would kill. You guys suck. Hey, bro, you brought it upon yourself. I gently opened the door. Oh no. Sayori! She's... She's dead. Stalin, help me get down. Huh? You're alive! Yes, now help me get out of this noose. I don't understand. How does that work? Well, I tried to kill myself, but I guess I'm immortal. Huh. Neat. So, will you help me get down? I don't know. I kind of have some eggs to attend to. I'll go check up on that and I'll come back later. I'm literally suffocating. You'll live. I... Yeah, you'll be fine, Sayuri. And here's the last one. I gently open the door. Okay, where's the baby? I don't know, I swear. 
Look, Sayuri, I'm a nice, shy, quiet girl. I'd let you relax, maybe have a nice sip of tea. I prefer juice. Tea. While well, you get more cooperative, but my partner here. Stop! She's a bit more chaotic. I won't spit off a suspect's ear. I was there, I can confirm. Uh, so what's going on? Huh? How did he get in here? Did you leave the door unlocked? Natsuki, Yuri, why are you dressed up like that? This ain't the not in Yuri you know. Or the D.I.B. The Doki's in black. Epic! <laughs> not the black Doki's would get confused a lot. That sounds racist. It is right, though. No. Okay then, D.I.B., why are you here? We're here looking for a baby. Baby? Yes, the ba this baby is the center of a time anomaly that needs to be fixed before the entire time stream collapses in and on itself. I don't have a baby. Yet. Oh. Sorry, seductively looks at me. I wink. Leave the flirting for the bedroom, fellas. But you're in my bedroom. We're looking for this baby in particular. Yuri shows me a picture of a particular cute baby that has pink eyes. Oh yeah, I threw it in the garbage. You threw me in the- Never mind. Okay, listen, Stalin. You're going to need to grab the baby from the trash and wear this. As he holds up the attire of the- Garapagolos delivery person. Why? To seal the time loop that this baby is the center of. Will you stop bothering us if I do it? Yes. Fine, I guess. I start to switch into my delivery attire. Asuki and Yuri look away while Sayuri keeps looking at me. Come quick, okay? I sure hope not. We chuckle to ourselves. I finally get dressed and tell the girls that they can look again. Anyway, we're gonna have to stop by Guam on the way so we can time travel back. What's Guam? It's a side space dimensional city where DIP headquarters are centered at. Side space dimensional city. Big words make me go boom boom. You ready, Stalin? I shrug my shoulders. Good enough. Alright, and that's the end of I Gently Open the Door 2. That was pretty epic. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me. A little badass bitch that gets down on her knees. Screaming out senpai or she's taking a D. Baby girl, I'm a happy yelling Kimoshi. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me. A little badass bitch that gets down on her knees. Screaming out senpai or she's taking a D. Baby girl, I'm a happy yelling Kimochi.